Hey YouTube, this is Dominique and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm actually going to be telling you some tips and tricks on how to function with long nails. Now, I have been getting my nails done for years and I just, I just like long nails, like they give me energy, they make me happy, um, they're just awesome. I'm going to go ahead and go over some tips and tricks on how to function with long nails. I have long nails, I've gotten them longer than this before, but I almost decapitated myself putting my hair up so I opt a little bit shorter now. It is not that hard. It's not as hard as it seems and when you just think about it, use a little bit of creativity with the way that you do things, you will be able to figure things out and you'll get used to it sooner than later. First things first, when you're trying to scoop out product of, from anything, whether it's hair gel or face cream, uh, I don't have anything like a good example to show you so I'm just gonna like demonstrate on here. Don't scoop it like this because you're gonna get product all underneath your nail and that's just the most irritating thing ever because how the hell are you gonna clean it? Use your finger as a backward scoop like that because then you have it on the top part it's not stuck all underneath your nail and you can just get it onto your finger from there and then continue doing what you're doing go about your business and you don't have a bunch of stuff stuck underneath your nails. The next tip that I have for you guys is use them for deep conditioning your scalp you would not believe how good of a massage you can give yourself with fake nails. It's ridiculous when you get your deep conditioner, go like this in the shower and really massage it in there and it feels amazing. Do it to yourself and you will see exactly what I'm talking about and you'll actually see your hair start to grow. The third thing that I want to tell you is change on a counter. Forget it. Next, when you're at the ATM, and you need to insert your card and you need to pull it back out but your nails are too long so it kind of blocks and you can't get it out use your knuckles don't go like this it's not gonna work okay go like this now I also get so many questions on how do you type? don't you get like the little clicky clicky thing every time you type? no because I use the pad of my finger to type I don't go like this and type, okay? I go like this and type. And the flatter the keyboard, the better. Now, this is a question that I get a lot because I used to wear contacts. I don't anymore because I got LASIK, but how do you take out your contacts? And how do you put them in and whatnot? Putting them in is easy because you just put it on a little part of your finger and just bloop, and it's in there. But taking them out is actually so much easier than you guys would think. I'm gonna get closer so you can see what I'm doing here. When you are going to go take out your contacts, go like this, press on your eye, and swipe down. It comes right out, either that or it folds up right on your bottom lash line and you can easily take it off from there. It is so easy. Next, you guys, this is so stupid, but you don't have to worry about picking up hot food because your nails are like a barrier between the hot nuggets and your fingers. Now, how do you open a soda? You can't open a soda with nails. You don't, you don't use your nail. Guys, unless you want this to rip off and become a bloody mess. Use the edge of your finger. Okay, I'm trying to show you as best as I can. Okay, let me do this. You see this? Use the edge of your finger and pull up. And then you go like this and you crack it open. Also, they can be used for self-defense because when you first get your nails done, you will find this out, they are sharp as hell. They will cut through your clothes unless you have them like buffed at the tips. They get sharp. So if somebody's coming at you the wrong way, 
you have weapons. Another question that I get asked a lot is, how do you wipe your ass? And, you know, <sighs> I like Charmin. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed my video on how I function with long nails. And one other important thing that I did not mention in the video yet is find a really good nail tech because you have good nail techs and you have bad nail techs. And I've been going to the same girl for a couple years, hey Nikki, but she's awesome. I've been going to her because when you find a good nail technician, you don't want to leave that nail tech. Trust me, you'll find out when you find a good one and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But again, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and until next time, bye guys.